continuing with Dave Sim's theory of rationality in Cerebus issue 186. The male light is jeopardized on all fronts, in my view. The devouring, rapacious female void is not a thing to be taken lightly, to be explained away, to be rationalized in neutrality. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to make you think. And to make you think, I have to make you see. Emotion, whatever the female void would have you believe, is not a more exalted state than is thought. In point of fact, I think emotion is animalistic, serpent brain stuff. Animals do not think, but I am reasonably certain that they have emotions. Eating this makes me happy. When my fur is all wet and I'm cold, it makes me sad. Oh, puppies. It makes me excited to chase the ball. Reason, as any husband can tell you, doesn't stand a chance in an argument with emotion. There are no rules to emotional argument. You simply wander around in rhetorical circles until you feel happy again. And then the argument is over. This was the fundamental reason, I believe, that women were, rightly, denied the vote for so long. In order to move a civilization forward, an overview is required. I'm going to jump ahead. I think Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, the Continental Congress, illuminated thinking the finest hour of male light dealing with the specific problem of independence. What did they want to do? What did they want to do? not want to do? What innovations had past cultures brought to bear? Most political positions based on reason are unpopular. Most political positions based on emotion are popular, provided the emotion provoked is happiness. Focus on that last statement. We'll continue in the next video.